I'm at Eurospark here in the East Midlands. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd be interested to know your comments on this video as well. Uh, Ryan Phillips from Eurospark is going to talk us through the detail of this machine. They've been selling the NSD uh, 510 CNC EDM hole drill now for about a year and had some great success with it. We've come back to look at it again and just go into a little bit more detail about the electrodes and some of the parts that you've actually made. Um, Ryan, firstly, just tell us briefly about this machine. Okay, so this is the, the 510, again, the smallest machine that we supply, compact, a little one piece with a small water tank, so obviously the water is recycled and reused uh, and filtered in the machine. Um, what can it do? What's the diameters, the holes it can drill, the depths, the, the size? So standard EDM drills are usually 3 mil maximum, but this will be 6 mil as standard and it can go down to 0.1 mil. Okay, what, what I know we're going to talk about as well, and yeah. you've got to keep watching for this, is how easy it is to program, mm -hmm. looking at the control, the simplicity is incredible. Uh, carry on here, so what's the, the, the maximum depth? Uh, so the table movements is 510 by 300 and then 250 stroke in the z-axis, and you have got uh, movement in the W so you can increase the depth as well. Okay, and does it matter what material you're looking to, to drill? Uh, if it's conductive, it will have a go. Um, so not really, no. Okay, now this, these are uh, some of the electrodes. You've, been, you've actually been doing an experiment mm -hmm. with, a, with a potential customer, haven't you? Yeah. Looking at wear, because that's really what these machines are about. Mm -hmm. um, what the wear is, but really the main thing is about the speed that it can drill, mm -hmm. isn't it? So show us maybe this, this part here. This is something you've been doing. Yeah, um, just a few little speed trials, really. So we've got a, a row of 10 holes, a uh, one mil electrode, and it's about 20 mil uh, thickness. So we started off with a 400 electrode. Um, I think the process took just under 14 minutes to do the 10 holes with about 110 mil wear. Okay, okay. That was the start of the process. Then what yeah. did you go on to do? Uh, again, uh, that was just as a, a rough speed test for the customer. Then we've also tried a 0 0.4 diameter hole. Um, and again, the speed uh, a little bit quicker on that. So about eight minutes to do six holes. Um, and again, we're a little bit higher on the 0.4, but that's expected because of the, the power and the electrode ratios. So, so what's the advantage to using, a, and where do you, when do you use a CNC hole drill, as, as, e, as, as simple as it might sound, but what's the difference between you using this and a traditional sparker for these sorts of operations? Well, again, the, this machine is designed for doing holes and for doing them quickly. Uh, the electrode is just a, a brass tube electrode, so, uh, Whereas in a standard EDM, you'd probably be using copper or graphite, which is more expensive and you've got machining costs in it. So the standard EDM machine is designed to do it more slowly, but to protect your electrode, whereas this is all about speed. Okay, and what, so, so who buys these and who would buy these from you then, Ryan? What, what sort of applications are we looking at? Simply parts that are maybe already finished that just need yeah. lots of holes? Yeah, so again, they pair quite nicely with a wire machine for putting start holes in. Um, if you've got fine work on a, a wire machine, you can't put a big start hole in. You can use the hole drill to put a small through hole to get your wire threaded. Um, again, some just general EDM users would use this machine uh, just for putting holes into things. Simple but effective technology. Mm -hmm. Is the NSD510, do they come bigger than this as well? Is this yeah, just one this one? is the smallest machine. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, this is what we've got in the showroom because space saving and yeah. it's actually quite a tidy little unit. And, and, it, and it's available movement. from stock here. This machine yeah. is actually available here from stock. They could, customers could actually bring you parts and you could run a demo and give yeah, them some again, time trials we're on them. Happy to do that. Fully health and safety compliant here. You've got full guarding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't put your hands in whilst it's sparking. So okay, no so you can't drill, again. drill in your uh, fingers. No. Um, let's have a look at this control now. So if we move this way. Okay, so uh, as I was just saying, the trials were doing uh, 10 holes with the 2 mil uh, pitch, uh, just for an example. So um, in the automatic mode, which is where you create programs. Um, you have two figures, so your two mil pitch and then ten repeats and convert into NC code. You so have it's the created code. all the code there. Created, that's it. You are now, once you picked your job, ready to spot. It's as simple as that. And you can see. How about the, the feed that actually happens, the feed rate, the material? Is there a way, of, do you have to select that it, what sort of material type it is so then it yeah. works out what's the best way to drill or feed? Yeah, um, so again, same as most CNC machines or any machines really, um, you have your cutting conditions. So you can put in your electrode diameter, then it gives you various materials of what you're going to spark, be sparking into. Um, so for some heat treated tool steel, for example, um, it gives you the conditions and loads them in straight away. So if we just bring this, 
all your parameters are there, ready to go. And so in the background, someone has already done the homework to find the hard best way. Hard work's already been the, done. The hard yeah. work's already been done. It's yeah. easy to use. Um, training on this then, so if you sell one of these machines, you, you don't really need a lot of training, do you? Not really. Uh, again, obviously you'd need some to just go through the basics, but most of it is self-explanatory and it's in front of you to see. Okay, machines are available from stock and I know they're very competitively priced as well and I know we're going to begin to see some of your customers that have bought them in the last 12 months. Uh, that's it from me here in Eurospot. Like I said earlier, I'd be interested to know your comments on this sort of technology and uh, whether it's of use to you.